Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to put some words in, into a shape in Scan and Cut Canvas. Now this was a request by somebody. I get lots of requests quite frequently, either in messages or on YouTube, asking me if I'll show how to do certain things. I can't always do them straight away because I'm busy and I've also got videos that I've recorded and are pre-scheduled. Pre but I do try to make a note of all the requests that I get. And then when I get some time, I go back through my book and look what people have asked for. And this request was how to put somebody's name in the shape of an apple. So I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to go to images. I'm going to type apple and hit enter. Then I'm going to come to the tools icon and try and break my search down a little bit more. So I think I'll leave it on colour and in type I'm going to try clip art and see. Now I have already downloaded the apple but I'm just showing you the process that I would go through and I can't remember if I used any type or clip art so I'll just, oh this was the one I used so in the search box, images, in tools, I used colour and under type, any type. So that brings up PNGs, photos, JPEG, bitmaps, anything like that. And this is the one I think I used. So I selected it, went to view image, right click and chose save image to downloads. Now obviously this is somebody's picture um, and you know, if you are going to use this, you would only be able to use it for personal use only, I would think, unless you, you know, have a look into the website where it is and find out if it can be used for anything else. But I'm just using it for the purposes of the video to show you how to do it. So that's dropped into my downloads folder now. I'm just going to drag it onto my desktop. So I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is come to the image tracing icon, which is this one here, it looks like a leaf on a scanner. So I'm going to select that, choose the file, navigate to my desktop where I've saved the file and select it. And it's going to bring it in here. Now I'm going to bring the red bounding box in just to get it a little bit closer to the apple. Probably won't make much difference in this particular case with it being a fairly simple shape, but sometimes it's easier to drag the, these red dotted lines in if you've got anything a bit more complex and then Scan and Cut Canvas knows what you're trying to scan, if you like. I'm going to leave everything as it is. I'm not going to touch it. I only want the outline and I'm just going to leave it as it is and I'm going to say Preview. And now it's put this turquoise line all around the apple and around the leaf and that's what I want. Basically that turquoise line represents the cut line. So I'm going to say, okay, I don't want to paste the image behind it. I just want the shape. So here it is. And I can see that the leaf is separate. So for now, I'm just going to leave this just on one side. So this is our basic shape now that you could cut you know, in red card and a green leaf, or you could weld that to there if you want it all in one piece. But for now, I'm just going to leave it separate and show you how I would put the name in this shape. So when I click on it, it's about four and a quarter inches high by just over a four wide. So I think what I'll do, I'll just group it for now. So I'm going to select both and group, and then I'm just going to drag it out and make it bigger just to make it easier to see on the screen. Then I'm going to right click and ungroup and just move the leaf out of the way at the moment. And the only reason I did that is so that they stay in proportion. So I'm going to come to, uh, what I'll do, I'll colour it red just to make it easier to see. I'll give it a red fill and a red outline. Okay, and I'll just make the leaf green. And then hopefully when we put it all together, it'll look a bit more realistic. So now I'm going to come to the text and I'm going to choose a font. I'm just going to choose this top one now, this block top left, and I'm going to type a name. Now, I wasn't given a name. It was just a request to put, 
I think they said a teacher's name in an apple shape. So I'll just make a name up. So we'll say Turner. I'm going to put the capital locks on my keyboard because this kind of thing works better if it's all in capitals. And I'm just going to type Turner. Take the capital locks off and select my word. Now, using the corner, I'm going to drag it in a bit until I get it to about the right width, or marginally bigger, and then I'm going to drag it down because you want it to fit within your shape. So I'm going to drag it up a bit so it just kind of overlaps a little bit. And obviously, you know, you can play around with this. You can tweak it how you want. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. But this is just how I would do it. And then drag it down. And you could leave the letters so they stay within the shape. But I'm just going to drag them down so they slightly overlap the bottom. Now, just to make it easier, I'm going to fill the name with black. So the name is on top and that's where it has to be and the apple is behind. So now I'm going to left click above the name, drag an imaginary box until I get both of them highlighted and I'm going to come to edit, subtract. And that's now punched the name out of the apple shape. So if you put it back together now, that's how it looks. Obviously, as I said, play around with it. If you're not happy with it, just hit undo. What I actually might do is select the apple, go to edit and create an offset. And just change that to black for now and then put this back on here and do it again as I say you know squash it in do what you want you just play around with it but this is how I would do it and I drag it down so it overlaps a bit there select both go edit subtract and that looks a bit better now just by adjusting the width and height so now you could put the matting layer behind it if you wanted to and put your leaf on and that's your shape so basically you would cut this in black card you would cut this in red and then you'd have to stick this on top and then you've got your leaf shape that you could stick on as well I have done a previous video in Canvas showing how to put letters into a shape. So I'll leave an information card link into that video as well because the process is similar. So I hope that helps whoever it was that asked the question. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.